in the blink of an eye, we're winding down on 2021. It's been a year of ups and downs, and I'd like to know how your year's been so far. I'd be very happy if you had a good 2021, and it's once again time to look towards the future. 2022 is on the horizon, and along with it are lots of anime titles to be excited about, mostly sequels and follow-up titles. We also have a handful of strong contenders coming our way, which affirms the age-old saying that the best is yet to come. Come with me as we take a glimpse into what's to come, and let me give you a preview of some of the shows that I've been seeing people get very excited about. Let's kick things off with Blue Lock. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. Another sports anime, right? Surely it's one with friendship lessons, superpowers, and a not so surprising number of boys, uh, friendship. Well, one look at the poster should break those illusions of yours. This isn't your everyday shonen fair, for it's a prospective blockbuster that aims to combine the sports and psychological genres. That's not to say that there won't be any football playing here. There will be, lots of it, but just not in the traditional sense. After all, the prison-like facility in Blue Lock aims to find Japan's national team striker, and when the biggest egos all over Japan are pitted against each other, only the strongest will survive. Blue Lock's cool as a sports anime and it delves more into the egotistical side of sport. Like it or not, a lot of people are selfish and this is a title that aims to display the ugly side of humanity in their desire to achieve a goal. The characters are just as interesting as well and while I think the theme of grey morality isn't so rare these days, it's not all the time that you see it in a sports series. This is not your Haikyuu or Kuroko for football. <laughs> Next is My Hero Academia's sixth season. Six. Six seasons? Man, I just blinked and this thing had five sequels already. Time flies, doesn't it? And we've come so far from the upstart superhero title that looked to make waves way back in 2016. Combining an inspiring story, very creative powers, and a large cast of memorable characters, My Hero Academia has exceeded my expectations in pretty much every metric possible. It's not a surprise that this has become the face of shonen anime in the late 2010s, and it doesn't look to be letting up anytime soon. Things started to heat up further this last season with a much beloved League of Villains arc, but don't blink because we're going to have all out war on our hands in the sixth season. It's time for the showdown of the century as we're set to see all heroes taking on all villains in a battle that will decide the fate of Japan. A lot of people are excited and rightfully so. This is one of the biggest and most hyped arcs in the manga so far and you better bring your tissues because things are going to get real very soon. No official date's been announced at the time of writing but all signs point to a 2022 release likely somewhere in the summer. <laughs> Up next is Kaguya Sama Season 3. Kaguya Sama has been critically acclaimed as one of the best modern rom coms, but its longevity partially surprised me. Just partially, in a sense that with its popularity, it would be strange to have it just end quickly. Well, fans can rejoice as we can be seeing more of our favorite super geniuses who are hopelessly lost in their battle of love. Who knew that a game of love with overblown antics and a bid to make someone confess could be so entertaining? Fun and entertaining enough to get us two seasons and leave the fans wanting more. Kaguya Sama's main selling point is no doubt its premise and the creativity of the jokes and scenarios that you can find in its episodes. Thanks to the energetic atmosphere in the animation and directing, there's never a dull moment in Kaguya Sama. And if the previous two seasons are any indication, you can expect more of the same in the third season too. What also differentiates it from other rom-coms is how strong the supporting cast is. The supporting characters all have their own characterizations, and I dare say that some of them have even outshone the main duo in terms of fan excitement. Kaguya Sama fans and new watchers alike are welcome to join in the fun as the third season of the hit rom-com hits the airwaves sooner than later. Kaguya-sama-wa-kokurasetai-ultra-romantic-2022年4月より放送開始 Ah, oh, I've been waiting for this one. Can't believe that it's been over two years since the last season, but Mob Psycho is coming back. I've always loved Mob Psycho as a show that, for me, dazzles our eyes with a visual masterpiece while wrapping it around a very intriguing story that has a lot of depth to it. While I wouldn't be in a rush to coronate the first two seasons of Mob Psycho as anime of the year, they are surely somehow in the top tiers of shows then, and you should really treat yourself by watching them. Speaking of treats, we fans have one in the announcement of the third season just recently. Mob Psycho is returning for possibly the grand finale 
Kamale, and I can already feel the hype as early as now. Bones better not mess this one up. If the previous seasons were any indication, this one will yet again be another sight to see. While no announcements on the air date have been shown yet, I fully expect this to air sometime this 2020, and it will no doubt steal the spotlight. The anticipation is killing me, and I'm sure that it does for all you fans as well. The Devil is a part-timer will finally, finally have its second season, and it's number six on our list. Huzzah, the meme is finally dead. After almost a decade of clamoring, reverse isekai hit Devil is a Part-Timer will at least get a continuation in anime form. Back in its day, people were captivated by this story of enemies turned friends slash lovers featuring Entei Isla's greatest hero and demon lord. It's a fun adventure that captures what people just love about these enemies into lover stories along with a slew of charismatic and charming characters. It's reverse isekai at its finest, and if you haven't seen the first season, you should definitely do it now. I just find it pretty strange that they've decided to greenlight this after the controversial ending of the light novel that fans would have probably heard of by now. Still, more anime is always good, and I've wanted to see Sadao, Emi, and Chiho back in anime form after so long, complete with a new art style to boot too. Stay strong, no game, no life, and classroom of the elite fans. If Index and Devil is a part-timer can do it, surely you can too, I hope. No release date yet, but you should expect this title to come out within a year or so. At the halfway mark now, we have Shield Hero Second Season. Everyone's favorite edgelord hero is back. Wait, this isn't Ari Fureta? Well, that one will have a much anticipated sequel coming this 2022 as well, hopefully with better animation, but I think that way more people are excited for the second season of Rising of the Shield Hero. Now, Fumi and gang are back at it again in their quest to save the world as the ragtag team of underdogs, and their quest now takes them into direct conflict with the rampaging spirit tortoise and the mastermind behind the rampaging beast. The trailer hasn't shown us much, but if they're really sticking with the novel continuity, let me just say that this upcoming arc is a blast. We'll see a lot of action and aid to come in the form of the strongest unlikely allies we've seen so far. Something to keep you guys excited as I am. They sure do like to keep us waiting for this one, don't they? Delay after delay, but it looks like we'll finally be getting it spring 22. I just can't wait. Let's hope the adaptation will be as good as the first season. Just a month or so ago, I made my rundown on what I think are the best action shows we got in the past decade. I did it in per year format, and if you've watched it, make sure you do check it out by the way, you'll remember that I penned Vinland Saga as my best show in 2019. I still stand by that, and I think that a sizable portion of you agreed. That's why it's my pleasure to have you join the hype train for the next season of Vinland Saga. We've yet to see an official announcement for the release date for the sequel, but I can see that the excitement is off the charts. Vinland Saga in its first season has been a breath of fresh air in the world of anime with its gritty atmosphere, a surprisingly realistic and educational backdrop, and some of the best character writing I've seen for a seinen title. With what I've read of the manga, Vinland Saga Season 2 will have a huge shift in tone. In exchange for the fighting, things should turn more grounded and focused on character development while we set up for one of the best manga arcs by far. Here's to hoping that Season 2 will be able to deliver the same quality, and it's up to the anime studio to make sure that happens. There's no official announcement on who'll be animating this time round, but I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for wit to take up the mantle once again. Next we have Chainsaw Man. Oh man, I remember when this was announced. Everyone couldn't stop talking about it, and it's not hard to see why. Just look at this poster and say that it doesn't catch your attention. In addition, it's not every day you see a dark action story from Shonen Jump of all things, one that blows up like this one has. Non-stop action, brutal fights, a very intense story and profound themes. Chainsaw Man is what you get if you decide to take a Shonen Jump series and turn the maturity filter all the way up. Oh, and add in a lot of subversions too. I've read the manga, and I can say that it's truly an exhilarating ride that just refuses uses to let go. Whether that will translate well into anime or not is anyone's guess, but I've got full confidence that this show will be a strong contender for anime of the season whenever it decides to debut. I'm fully on board with the hype for Chainsaw Man, and you should be too. I don't know if saying expect the unexpected would be too trite, but it does perfectly fit with this series. It's been a long time coming for number two on the list, Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. 
絶望してくれるなよ。Long time fans of Shonen Anime have been waiting for this. Not too long ago, we got the confirmation that the final arc of the thrilling series will be getting adapted. Bleach has been a cornerstone of the 2000s in anime, and the fans have been salivating to see this final act in anime form. Stronger enemies than before, higher stakes than before, more intense battles, and mind blowing Bankai reveals. That's what you expect from the Thousand Year Blood War arc. But will its anime adaptation be the one that will revive the same fervor in the new decade? We don't have a release date for this one as yet, but I'm personally predicting a 2022 release, probably somewhere in the middle of the year. Let's hope that they properly adapt the arc this time. After all, Shaman King's remake, due to episode constraints, leaves a lot to be desired in terms of adaptation. Let's hope that Bleach doesn't fall into that same curse as its 2000 supernatural shonen brother. And guess what's number one? It's Attack on Titan's final season. Is it even a surprise to see Attack on Titan's grand finale on top of this list? It is the anime that shaped much of the landscape in the past decade and brought in a large wave of fans. It still feels surreal talking about this. After nearly a decade, we finally come to the conclusion of the journey that gave us a whole range of emotions. From the terrors of the early season to the joy of triumph and the glory of salvation, it's about time for Attack on Titan to close the book on what's been a legendary run with its grand finale. Honestly, the ending itself has been pretty contentious if we're going to take a look at manga readers' reaction. But I think that it's the journey that counts. It's been a long ride and a pleasure riding the AOT train with you all. And while I feel sad to say goodbye to a masterpiece of a series, I am holding on to hopes that the anime team will cap everything off in a finale that we won't ever forget. AOT has left a landmark in the anime industry for the past decade, and the world just can't wait to see how it will finish this final stretch. That for 2022 and beyond. If you're feeling a little bit down about life and all, I hope that this list helps shine you away even just a little bit. There's so much more to enjoy in the coming year, and it will be a waste if you have to miss those. Lots of blockbusters ahead, and I want to know which ones you're looking forward to the most. This was a fun list to make, and I hope that you enjoyed this glimpse into the future. If you're up for some channel support, you can check out my two main avenues Patreon and channel memberships. Make sure to also give a follow on Instagram for more updates regarding future videos, as well as some trivia or news that I'll be posting from time to time. It's been a great ride with you. And I hope to see you next time. Vinny Tube signing off.